From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. It is Thursday, July 16th, and I'm Kara Sundlin. We have breaking news we're covering today out of Glastonbury, where a mother and her toddler were injured in a drive-by shooting. Police are now searching for two suspects said to be driving a dark Ford Explorer. The car call came in about 10 this morning. Police say there are no other victims. We'll have more on this tonight on Eyewitness News beginning at 4. And this afternoon, we're also awaiting results of an autopsy after police found human remains buried behind a dumpster in Brantford. The victim has not yet been identified, but this could be connected to the search for a missing mom from East Haven. She was last seen two weeks ago. We're bringing more information on this case later on today on air and on our Channel 3 app as we learn more. New job numbers show that those seeking unemployment benefits during the coronavirus pandemic remained stuck at 1.3 million again last week. This is a historically high level that shows a lot of companies are still cutting jobs. These new stats come as coronavirus cases surge in now 40 states, forcing 22 to pause or reverse their reopenings. Right, and weather-wise on our Thursday, like yesterday, temperatures running below average, topping out in the upper 70s and low 80s. It's going to be a bit of a brighter afternoon, partly to mostly sunny. Then tonight we'll see an increase in cloud cover, perhaps an isolated shower as we head toward daybreak Friday, and that's as a storm system moves in. So some scattered showers will be possible as we close out the week, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but not a washout. But where showers or storms pop up, they could produce some locally heavy rain. As we head into the weekend, it's going to be dry and bright for both Saturday and Sunday. However, trending hot and humid. Low 90s on Saturday, mid 90s on Sunday. Heat index values Sunday into Monday could go up to, if not over 100 degrees. Morning low temperatures will be in the lower 70s. And while we're dry this weekend, there's a chance for some storms on Monday. Then we trend a little less humid, but we're still hot. Low 90s by Tuesday of next week. So we have on our seven day forecast, our third heat wave of the year. It's going to be likely four days in duration uh, for shoreline highs this weekend forecasting after the low 80s tomorrow uh, mid 80s for Saturday and as well for Sunday. So great weather for heading to area beaches. Just remember the sunscreen and as well to hydrate if and when spending any time outdoors this weekend again looking dry with potentially the hottest weather of the year on track for Sunday and Monday. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.